Mr. Shelby. <laughs> So we made it. Um, Charlotte slept through the whole trip back there and then Shelby's been playing. What do you got in your hand? Playphone. She's got her playphone. David's out there getting the stuff he came for. Um, this guy has a whole bunch of stuff here. A little bit of a, his own little tractor graveyard really. So we'll see if there's anything else maybe we can buy from him. But <laughs> um, that's pretty much all we came for. So we'll see how it goes. Gonna wake this little one up for a minute so we can feed her. David's loading everything up back there, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, Charlie girl, let's feed you. Do you need a, a pink forklift, David? Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't? Uh huh. Hopefully Charlotte falls back asleep after her her snack she had. So we'll see how it goes. So we're back in town. We're gonna get our weights unloaded, um, put them in the garage. We will stack it up on the plate because it does have the three-point attachment. So we'll probably end up using that um, at least through the winter. And then we will modify it to go on the front of the tractor in the spring when we need it to. We got eight suitcase weights, a bracket that has been converted to run off a three-point. So he's got these pins in here, and then he made this attachment to hook up to the third link, um, which is pretty easy to just take the angle grinder, cut that bad boy off, and then we will have a front mount uh, bracket to use on our tractor in the spring. All right, so we got the weights all put together on the bracket. Uh, essentially here it is. You got four on each side. Um, those are your pins. You can see a little closer that will hook up to the three point. That's where your third link arm. Uh, looking at it a little bit closer, I can't really tell if this is 100% factory or if he modified that. We'll have to measure our bolt holes. It has four bolt holes that the bracket itself will sit on. Um, if those are off, we'll probably have to drill some new holes. A bracket itself cost $150 to $200 for one that'll fit the tractor. 
So if we can get away with taking it up to a friend up the road um, and having him with his drill press just put a couple new holes in the right spot, that'll be the easiest of everything. Uh, but essentially how these weights work is they're, they have a screw, you take it in, you set it, and it folds down there, and then these build the holes down here, and they have a little nub that you put into them. And then you take a piece of angle iron and you run it all the way through and that kind of locks all the weights together. So yeah, that's our weight package. That's going to go on the front of the tractor too. The real annoying part is we use that as a front end loaded tractor as well. So we should have enough clearance for the bracket but not for the weights. So we will have to pull the weights off every time we go to put the front end loader on. But at the end of the day, it is what it is. It's a weight package um, that should work out well for us. Mm -hmm.